What is up guys, in today's video I'm going to be going over the mobility items in Fortnite OG and letting you know which one I think is best. As always, if you guys do enjoy this video, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you like to see more, and comment down below which mobility item or which mobility items you've been preferring most this season. So the first we're going to talk about is going to be the grappler because that is new to this season to an extent we had the grappler in previous seasons but it was reworked this season it now negates fall damage which is the biggest difference between it and the grapplers of the past because prior to this season you would have to be concerned about fall damage when using the grappler and it really limited the plays that you could make using this item just think about like all the times you use this if you had to be worried about fall damage you'd probably be you know more reserved with how you're using it and then also it now has 20 uses instead of 10, which is a nice change, especially with like the spawn rate of things this season, which we'll kind of get to later on in the video. I've had a decent amount of people, you know, tell me on Twitch or in YouTube comments that they hate the grappler and that they just can't get used to the item. And that is kind of confusing to me because I feel like as far as mobility items go, this is one of the most simple we've had like shockwaves can be like difficult to use or like the shockwave hammer I feel like was more straightforward than shockwaves themselves but in general I would still say it was a little more you know it took more time to get used to than the grappler whereas I feel like the grappler is pretty straightforward and pretty simple you look at what you want to attach to you shoot your plunger onto that and then it kind of like pulls you towards it there is like some degree of you know familiarity you need to get with like the arc of that but overall i think this item is really straightforward and simple and there really isn't much to it it has a range of about 36 or 36 and a half meters which is really far again i had people tell me in my videos that my grappler has so much more range than theirs and when they use it it has no range not doing anything special in that regard this is the range of it you'll see on screen when i was like shooting the building at retail that is the you know maximum range this item has and there will actually be a little x where your crosshair would be if you are out of range with the grappler if there's nothing for you to attach to there will be a little x next to your crosshair telling you that there's nothing for you to attach to and then if you're in range to grapple to something your crosshair will look normal so you can kind of use the crosshair to better understand you know if you're able to use it in whatever situation like i said the range is 36 or 36 and a half meters i just kind of play around with it and get it you know a feel for where i can and can't grapple i'm not marking everything to make sure it's in range it's just something you kind of get a feel for over time the biggest thing you need to kind of learn with this item i think oh and one other thing is that you can shoot weapons while in air so you can grapple and then swap weapons and then start shooting and that will bring us to our next point is that like one thing you do kind of got to learn with this item is that like the higher up you aim on whatever you're attaching to your character will go higher whereas like if you aim on the lower part of whatever you're looking at your character will kind of grab towards that and that could matter if you're going to be going for like an rpg or boogie bomb play with the grappler you would want to like get yourself high that way you can look down and shoot the rocket or look down and throw the boogie so if you are going to look to go for that sort of play you want something you want to look up and attach to something above you that way it pulls your character up Whereas like if you wanted to go for that sort of play and you just looked at the ground next to the opponent, it's going to pull you towards the ground and that will kind of eliminate that like that'll really throw that play off. So if you are, you know, looking for any sort of play with those items, just keep in mind the more you look up, the higher you're going to go. If you look down, you're going to pull towards that. And that can also be helpful when you're fighting around trees. So like this item, it can be weird to use around trees sometimes because of like the weird tree hitbox. And I had this happen to me on stream where like I just kept getting stuck on the trees hitboxes and it was throwing me off. And somebody in chat said to like, look on the lower part of the tree to kind of be underneath the hitbox so that's you know something to keep in mind when you're traveling around certain structures you may need to look lower on something like trees if you're in dusty divot but if you're you know traveling around buildings and tilted it wouldn't really be that big of a deal so i think the grappler is really good uh i, I think it is one of the better items in the game right now and i hope we see this in future fortnite like uh seasons i think the grappler is a really good item I've had a lot of people, you know, telling me they can't use it. And again, that kind of confuses me because I think it's a very simple, very straightforward, very intuitive item. But also, I feel like a lot of the people commenting stuff like that may have felt the same way about shockwaves early on. And then as they put in time to use shockwaves, they got better with it over time. I get comments like that on so many videos that I've made where like, yo, I appreciate the videos because I used to ignore shockwaves. I thought they were bad. I put the time in and now I'm using them and they're great. And so I think a lot of you may feel the same way about the grappler if you're hating it now, once you kind of put in more time with it and get used to using it. And that will bring us to our next mobility item, which is going to be shockwaves because that was shockwaves were unvolted in this week's update. 
if you watch any of my videos in the past, you know that I think really highly of this uh, the shockwave grenades. Basically, you just kind of look down and walk over it when throwing it. It kind of emits a ball of energy away from you. I'll have a video linked down in the description below I made about shockwaves in the past that kind of explains everything more in detail. But you just want to be traveling the direction you want to go and have the shockwave kind of opposite of that. That way it'll propel you forward. If you want to go straight up, you could just look down and then you know, be on top of it and it'll send you straight up. And not only is this a great mobility item, but it can also be really good for getting people out of cover, which is nice this season because people are playing pretty slow. And it can also be really nice for getting people out of Porter Fortresses. If you're playing squads, you could shockwave yourself up and then throw a shockwave into the fortress at the opponents and knock some of them, some of them out of the fortress. Or, you know, if somebody's on a mountain, you can knock them off a mountain. There's a lot of things you can do with shockwaves, and it also will break structures, which is really nice. If you're in a building and there's somebody under you, you could look at the ceiling, throw the shockwave, and it'll force you down the floor. Somebody's in a building and you're outside, you can kind of throw a shockwave to force yourself into the building behind them. There's a lot of things you can do with shockwaves. Uh, I don't want this video to just be a repeat of, you know, previous videos I've made. So if you want to learn more about shockwaves, a video that I made in the past will be linked down in the description. Uh, and I think that was like a good video for going over shockwaves. So the those two items, I think, are the best for this season in terms of using them in a fight. Because the other two items that we're going to talk about in a bit are going to be the Rift to Go and the Grapple Glove. But the Grappler and the Shockwave Grenades are the best for repositioning in a fight. If you're getting fought by somebody and you want to get away from them, the Grappler or the Shockwaves are probably going to be the best. The Rift to Go can work for that as well, but that's we'll get to that in a minute. Um, if you want to push somebody in a fight... Grappler and Shockwaves are probably going to be the best. If you want to just reposition to change the way the fight is going, sh Grapples or Shockwaves are going to be the best. And that is one of the nice things about mobility. I think a lot of people only think about mobility in terms of like running away from people. And that isn't great. The way you use mobility in fights in zero builds can really change the outcome of fights and give you a huge advantage in them. And for those situations, the Grappler and the Shockwaves are going to be the best. If I had to use just one... It would probably be Shockwaves if I was just evaluating it on an item-to-item -item basis. However, with this season, the spawn rate of everything is just bad. Like, there's a lot of stuff in the loot pool, and because there's so much stuff in the loot pool, it makes it harder for you to get any one thing you're looking for. But also, I feel like just the potential of a chest or floor loot spawning is worse this season than it was in the past. I don't know if that's actually true, but that's how it feels to me. And so... I actually will prefer the grappler this season most of the time just because I find one grappler and then I'm good to go. Like it does only have 20 uses so it's going to run out over time, but you if you're looting your POI and you find a grappler, you have your mobility for a while. Whereas shockwaves you have to find 3 spawns of it to have a full stack and that's just not that likely to happen with the spawn rate of things this season. So I've been if I'm going to run one mobility item, it's going to be the grappler. I would like to run Grappler Shockwave though, and this I've done this a decent amount since Shockwaves have been out, it's been nice, but it really just comes down to whether or not you're able to find enough Shockwaves to really make that work, because like I said, the spawn rate of everything kind of stinks. So the next items we're going to talk about are going to be the Rift to go and the Grapple Glove, and these I feel like aren't as good items for repositioning or making plays in a fight. The Rift to go can be used for that. You basically just use it and it spawns a rift on you and then you can fly around. But it takes longer. Like if you had somebody like 40 meters away and then you AR tag them like for like 100 and you want to push that, using the Rift to go for that would just be kind of weird. And they would probably just get in your Rift and then leave after you use your Rift. Whereas like the Grappler or the Shockwaves would be great for that sort of play. Like the Rift just takes longer to push people. So in a more close to medium range fight, it's not going to be used as much. The best thing for it is getting out of like a really bad situation or just traveling around the map faster. And the grapple glove is kind of the same way. So they added this back uh, this past Thursday and you can get it from rift events and you can get it from supply drops. And I've never been like as high on this item as other people have. I feel like if you're comparing it to the grappler, for one, the regular grappler, the first one we talked about, you can shoot after using it, whereas like the grapple glove, you have to land before you can shoot. And then also with the grapple glove, you have the potential of taking fall damage if anyone hits a shot on you, and that really limits how you want to use the item. Whereas like with the normal grappler, it doesn't matter what the enemy does, you're not going to take fall damage, and they're not going to knock you out of the effect of it. And the, the gloves, if someone hits you while you're using it, you potentially take fall damage, but you also get knocked out of your swing, and then you're dropped right to where you just were. So it is a lot 
it's not as good as like a playmaking tool as the regular grappler is. It's better for just like kind of traveling the map. And I, that's kind of how I look at like the rift to go in the grapple glove versus the grappler and the shockwaves. I feel like the grappler and shockwaves are better for in fights and they're better for making plays. Whereas the rift to go and the grapple glove are better for just like traveling around the map. And that's the way I kind of view these items. You could kind of go for, if you're going to go double mobility, you could do what I do and go for, you know, grappler and shockwaves and you just have both playmaking options. Or you could go for like one getting around the map mobility like the rift to go and one playmaking mobility like shockwaves i feel like either way kind of works well it just depends on how you want to play the game but if i only could carry one it would be down to the grappler or the shockwaves depending on how many shockwaves i find and that's just kind of what i think of the weapons uh also for whatever reason for me since grapple gloves have been back in this update they felt super bugged like i'll have a clip of it on screen now where like i was trying to grapple and I just, it was like I was hitting an invisible wall constantly, and I don't really remember this ever happening in the past, so I feel like that's a new bug for this season, and that's another thing that just kind of makes me not want to use it. If I don't have any mobility, then sure, I'm down, but I'm not going to really go out of my way to get this item. And the final thing I want to talk about is going to be the vehicles and rifts on the map. So I'll have a picture on screen now of where the rifts spawn on the map. Uh, there will be rifts here from fortnite.gg, but there might also be red circles because in the past, their map wasn't like perfectly complete. And I'm not sure if it is up to date as of the time I'm recording this, so we'll see. But anyways, these rifts spawn all over the map in Zero Build, and these are permanent. Even after somebody uses them, they're always there. So if you're traveling around this map in Zero Build, it's very open, it's very punishing. But you don't really want to just travel around the map going from point A to point B. You probably want to go to the nearest rift to you, and then rift to wherever you need to go. Or potentially rift to other rifts. Like in this clip here, I'm going to rift from the house at Salty hit the rift in between these two mountains and then make my way over to Tilted and potentially hit the greasy rift as well. There's just so many rifts on the map and the more you utilize these in zero build, I feel like the less time you're going to spend in those kind of like no man's land areas and the more time you're going to, the less time you're going to spend traveling in general so you can potentially find more players or just get around the map faster. And there's also a lot of vehicles in the loot pool right now, like the drift board, the quad crasher, the ATK. The shopping cart, I guess. Um, but there's a lot of vehicles in the map that you can use to travel around faster, go to between rifts faster, whatever you need to do. The idea that there's no mobility this season, I feel like is really just out of touch. Like I, I feel like those people just kind of don't understand the game currently. Uh, the rifts, the infinite rifts are really important. I think the more you utilize them in zero build, the better you're going to do. And one thing to keep in mind with these rifts is it can be bugged where they like kind of go invisible after somebody uses them. But as long as you know where the rift is, you can still hit it even though it's invisible. You just sometimes kind of got to feel around for it, but you can hear it as you get close to it. Um, but that is going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys found this helpful, informative, interesting. If you did, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you like to see more, and comment down below which mobility item or which mobility items are your favorite in Fortnite OG.